Hello there, everybody. How are you all doing today? Hopefully you're all doing great, fantastic, phantasmal, etc., etc. Uh, so we're here to play some video games. So let's start the video games. Um, I think I do need to plug this in, actually. I just want to make sure. Is this the right cable? No, it isn't. Because I believe this controller is close to death. Uh, I did check it the other night right after stream ended. Oh no. Man, I hate how cables get all tangled up for no reason besides just being tangled. I, I really don't understand how that works. It's like they're magnetically attracted together to like tangle up when there's only like two of them down there. Uh, where is the USB port? I can never tell where it is on here. Is it right there? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to turn down the game volume. Hold on. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, that seems about right. Okay, get it up on screen here in one second. There we go. Am I not signed into the PlayStation Network? I should be. Bolts from the blue. So we're going to go figure out what the hell was actually going on with Torgal. Um... And if I remember correctly, uh, we also had some hunt boards to do. Excuse me, I believe. I believe we did. I could be incorrect. <coughs> Here, let me take a quick sippy. Yeah, that's right. We're starting off with a sip. Mm. Mm mm mm. Perfect. Okay. So, let's see where the hunt board will take us then. Jill looked white as a sheet. Because I don't remember. I, I think, um... The little ones have been up to their old tricks. I think it was... In Rosalith, I believe. No. Howdy, Nectar. Oh, come on. There we go. So what do we have? Yeah, so we have this one. The Muddy Murder. Sighted mm -mm -mm -mm. in the moors and meadows of the region, Rosaria. Um, okay, so that should be pretty easy to find. I think it's a rank A as well. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be something. But so let's see, Rosaria, Rosaria. So Rosaria, so. You know, actually, it's a good point. It didn't really tell me where in Rosaria. Just that it would be... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. This one's being a bit a bit more of a challenge because it's not telling me exactly where in Rosaria, I don't think. Southern reaches of Rosaria. Pulu, Opulus, and U sighted in the moors and meadows of the region. So Southern Rosaria. So would that be like what here? Uh, I'm trying to think how muddy this area is. It might be. To be fair, it might be interesting to go here anyway, just to see what Port is sold kind of looks like. Because I'm sure it looks at least a little bit different, probably. Uh, <clears throat> so it could be there. Because uh, this is central, this is southern. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go to Hawks Cliff. And we'll just peruse around here. And we'll go to Port of Sold, because why not, right? Uh, just see how different it might be. I, I think they did imply that. Oh, yeah, they did imply that they just sailed right past. So you probably don't even really need to, to be honest. Uh, 
So I did see meadows and marshes. So it couldn't theory be anywhere along here. Um. See, I don't want to fight every. Oh, I should. I, I probably should fight everything I come across, though. And keep on being overpowered. Get level 99 by the time the game ends. See, I just don't know where it would be along here. I guess it could be like down here, but that's not really in the meadow. Hmm. So the best thing for me to probably do is to find well, i don't know <laughs> i don't know actually this one may be a bit more of a challenge because i'm not really given a specific spot i'm just given an area which would be here so it well is it muddy in the area of lost wing See, it almost seems like it could be down around here, but I don't... Unless this is it. No, that's a rock. Oh, wait. No, it is here. Oh. The Flan Prince. Well, hello then, Flan Prince. All right. Time to kick some booty. Oh, yeah. Perry. Perry initially. He got magic. I see magic. Stone gun. You know, that's actually a good point. I have the new abilities. I don't know. I don't have them equipped though. Move that for Titan. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll use Garuda for, for now. Let's we'll switch Titan after. Faraga. A Fireaga. I am gonna call it Faraga. Just just deal with it. Tornado. So you just have your own magic pool. Fine. Yeah, let's prime up. Amazon prime up. I'll probably get it back after we haven't staggered anyway. I was gonna say that's always gonna be a parry. If you just hit it correctly. Okay, I, I believed in the stagger. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to get on, so uh, we'll just we'll just hit him with everything we got. Okay, I cut it down them all. <laughs> Dual cast, huh? Hmm. Okay, so that's tornado and stone. Damn it. Damn, double damn it. What? This is fine. This is fine. Thundaga. Nice 
Okay, we're just staying close. Just staying close. Okay, good. We staggered him. Get over here. I don't know what he's doing. Why he's doing that? High potion. Oh my god, can we get him down? Okay, we can. We can. We can. Okay, we nail him with this. Then we prime, and then we just go in for the kill. Yeah, it's going for the kill. Man, priming lasts a really long time now. It's over. Whew. Well, there you go. That that one wasn't as much of a struggle. That one was actually five thousand XP. That's a lot of XP. That's a lot of XP. Wow. Okay. Gelatinous mass. I needed that. That's like the one thing I needed. Dead now. Whatever it was. Whew. Whew. All right. That's that taken care of. Oops. You know what? Let's give Torgo a nice petting. Get it, boy. There you go. Got a treat. He's a good boy. Good doggo. Good doggo is Torgo. So, see, now this is where I kind of struggle a bit because I don't really know. Because I think Titan, like, I, I I need, I should use Titan at the very least. Because I think having Titan would be fun and cool. Um, I don't know if I care so much about upheaval. I'm not really using, like, I'm, like, if I need, if I need AoE, if I need AoE, I have Ignition. And in theory, this. I'm thinking I might master gouge just so I can put that on something else, but I'm not really too sure on that. Because, I mean... Because gouge is good. Like, it's a good... It's, it's a good way to stagger. And like this is also good like single target like I think this is more of a single target thing apart from this one which I want to save up for but that's also more damage right like that's but I mostly use these during see that's kind of my logic right let me, let me actually explain my logic here so like I mostly use the specials like this for when they're staggered so I can deal a ton of damage so this is actually really good for me it kind of fits in my play style but I do like having Gouge to deal with the Stagger. So I'm a little... Because, like, he doesn't really have much Stagger potential. Um, He has damage. But he doesn't really have Stagger. He has this, like, single target. I mean... Eventually I'm going to settle on... Because I can only use three, right? So eventually some are going to be left out. Um... But we'll we'll give this one a go first. I don't know about Raging Fist. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so what do I have now? So what I use upheaval. Because I will use wind up. But do I care about upheaval? I'm not really so sure. Purchase this one. I won't upgrade it yet. Whoops. Um. So let's remove upheaval. 
Put Raging Fist there instead. So this is his block. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's test these out. Let's test these out. So... You block in. I guess you can time it really well as well if they attack me. Okay, okay, and then that's the wind up. Okay, you see that is good. That is good. That's a it's a big combo. Hmm. 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 about like the super titan, so I just like shoot a stone at them. Okay, so that might act as a lift as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I'm probably gonna like Titan. Cause like Garuda, Garuda is okay. Garuda is okay. Don't get me wrong. Garuda is perfectly fine. But I like damage. Damage is more is more my kind of play style, you know? I like getting the big damage in. The big dick hit, as it were, you know? I like I like getting getting that. As opposed to to like Stagger is good, but I, I think I can like I can get around Stagger. And even my infernal charge like does a lot of damage to be fair the have been up to their own. um so let's see then let's see them let's see then not all of the nobles made it out alive so how, so how much you're down do i need oh i wasn't expecting you back so soon i know me Come neither claim you're just dessert so i need 295 i'm a 255 all done okay yeah so we'll speak with Otto. i don't think i have anything else i need to do around here i mean i could go do some lore but it's a bit too early for that we won't do any lore yet okay so let's learn about our doggo is now a good time oh well, i seen the stretch it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Uh, oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. That would be pretty hard, yeah. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. Oh, who are you? All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Your fiery youth. With braided hair. Mid. Right. Oh. When did you get back? And she's pretty mid, dude. Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. Perchance, perchance. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <laughs> While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. 
Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Okay, I, I think mid is interesting. Another new character being introduced, Oi, though. Otto, you got my gill. What you all about? What you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were nah. paying. She's that kind of character too, huh? Okay, she seems fun. Mid seems seems fun. Storm, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. I do have to wonder though, like it is a little bit strange how well, I mean a time skip, you know, a lot of characters get introduced. It, it's interesting though how these aren't characters that we've seen in the past though. They're characters that we don't know about until now, right? It's a bit strange, but I don't mind it. Okay, yeah. yeah, I actually surely have something Enjoy. I think you can forge. Uh, maybe not, actually. But you did. Oh, no, wait. It's this. Yeah, the Drake's Lair stuff. Oh, I can make a lectum, or I can make the, the belt as well. So how much of a difference is this? Ooh, look at that. And with a cry that echoed through the skies, she thrust her sword down into the mighty Drake's nape, life having escaped the Elder Worm. He went crashing to the sea where his corpse lay, unmoving yet unsinking. Only when she saw the Drake no longer stirred and his eyes were gray with oblivion did she remove belt and bracelet, casting them into the Worm's maw where they might risk for eternity. So that's cool. So this actually does tell a bit of a story then. No scratches, right? Okay, let's go ahead and make that. Oh, well, can I not do this now? Why not? Oh, because I need the Scarletite. That's right. That's right. I had one before. Where did I get that? Shoot, where did I get the Scarletite? See, a part of me wants to look it up, but I also don't want to, like, spoil and be, like, cheaty. Because I, I, I don't know if that's something I need to do, like, a rerun for. I'm, I, I just want to see where I got that. I'm not, I'm not sure. So, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not going to look anything up. But I, I am just curious where I got it initially. Because if I can go back and maybe get another one, uh, that would be pretty cool. Um... And I wouldn't consider that cheating since I mean, it's for an item, right? Um, so without spoiling anything, I can't type Scarletite. Okay, so you, so you just gave him two quests. That's all I really needed to see. Anything else? Without seeing anything else, I just saw you get him through quests and you get him on the hunt board. So I guess I just gotta wait. Wait and be patient. Right. See, there's nothing. Do, do, do. Okay, so are you stepping down the steps correctly? He is kind of, but he he's going a little too fast, but it's there. You can see it's there. Yeah, I still find it really funny. Actually, I just Clive do it. I guess he skips a step, kind of, and his feet kind of go through it. I don't know. I still find it funny how Resident Evil Zero is the only game so far that I've seen and noticed where they do the steps correctly. Like, actually, accurately and correctly. And I guess with probably the... Re did they, with the remake, did they do that? I don't remember. For Resident Evil to remake. Okay, well, let's talk with Mid. See what she's got going on. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. A workshop? Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Now, where's my... Ugh. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. Oh, that wait. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. Wait, Mid is Sid's daughter. 
Yeah, Mid Sid's daughter. Okay, that okay, that took me a moment. She's like my dad workshop and i'm like wait a minute sid had a daughter so this is her then student of engineering at the university of canver she is as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway but okay then no one stuck at school i've studied enough it's time i put me neck to work i know that i can help the people here and i want to do it well, well, well. If Sid could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Oh, boy. For me. I'm Sid. Who else? Mid and Sid. What do you want me to do? Sid mid. First things first, I need equipment. It's clever. And materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. All right, getting to work. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Yeah, should be able to get there easily enough if I remember the correct way down. I do. Perfect. Hey, Blackthorn. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? Always, yeah. I have a commission for you from Mid. She requires certain tools. Sketches of ineffable devices seemingly drawn from the pages of a mad alchemist's notebook and a list of the equally exotic alloys from which such things are smithied. Excellent. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? No. I'll see what I can do. Till I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. Was wondering where you'd got to. Mids back from Canva. Have you seen her? Oh, yes. Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Hey, Dargantra, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, friendo? Dargantra says, hey, hey, Fragan, how you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you doing? Been up to anything fun? I'd love to hear all about it, if so. And even if not, I'd still love to hear about it. If you'd tell me all about your... Well, since I last saw you, anyway. Days, etc. Yeah. Then uh, the Noxus Noxious... Vapors that spilled from the cracks around a certain door in Sidolphus Talaman's Deadland Hideaway would sting the eyes and burn the nose of anyone who strayed too close. Combining every ingredient on this list would no doubt produce a similar result. Alright. I'm curious about what we'll get. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for wow. her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water. And that would have drained the life out of us long ago. I guess that's true. Good. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to do the carpenter stuff too. Oh, she has something else in her toll though. What do you have? Is it business or pleasure? Ask about mid. <laughs> Is irresponsible the word? Irrepressible. There you go. I got that correctly. Is irrepressible the word? That girl doesn't let anything get her down. That's for certain. Quite the opposite. In fact, she's got a way of making every bugger else, yeah, every bugger else, get up and dance to her tune. Like father like daughter. Yay! I'd say it ran in the blood if I didn't know better. 
Can't wait to see what kind of queer contraption she comes up with next. So long as she doesn't try and rope me into building it for her. Gargantris says, I'm just grinding out FF13. Nice, you're still doing that. I think the last time you, you, you mentioned that to me too. Almost done, then I'll bed max level 1v1. Oh, nice. Or is that level? That's level, I think. I hate, I hate L. I hate L's in on Twitch. I can't tell what's a 1 and what's a, an L. I assume that's 1v1. Hunter's Wastecloth. Nah. 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 I don't think I need potions. Finished, are you? Sounds fun, though. Hopefully you've been having a good time with that. What do you need? Ask about mid. Summer storm, that one. Rolls in when you least expect it, soaking you to your skin and leaving you wringing your britches. Just like her old man. Keeps us on our toes, though. Man, a few words is Blackthorn. Mate made the stuff she needs. Just give me a bit of time to work it all out for you. I know, I just had to ask you a question. I'm sorry. Uh, can I ask other people about boat and mid? I don't think so. Or can I? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Let's go have a look around. Let's go talk with some people. I know, I know. You know, a lot of some of the early streams are just roaming, roaming around the hideaway, but that, that's how it is, right? It's fun. He says he's for books about I know. My knowledge is yours. I can ask about mid. Tet and Crow first. Did you know that Tet and Crow's parents are both bearers? Having lived so long in a world where so much was denied them, it could not have been easy for them to find love. But once they had. Oh, how brilliant did it burn. I love that only burned brighter when Stet and Crow were there to bask in it. To share it. Until it was taken away. Plunging the twins into a darkness no man or woman, let alone child, should ever have to face. A pall that will ever hang over us. As long as the man who cast it walks free. Tell me about Mid. Young Mid has always been too clever by half. From the moment of her very first steps... She would roam the hideaway, tearing apart everything she laid her little hands upon. But it wasn't until she started putting those things back together again that Sid realized his daughter had been blessed with a truly special talent. And so? Rather than see it squandered, he swallowed his pride and sent Mid to the university in Canver to study under the Free City's finest mechanists. That was on her 11th name day. We have reaped the benefits of her studies ever since. Her inventions are part of our daily lives here at the hideaway, even if she herself is not. As to why she has stayed away. I would hazard that a part of her is simply afraid. Afraid that coming home will remind her too much of what she has lost. Yeah, I could see that. Fare you well, Clive. We'll do lore soon. Uh, so if I'm going to talk to anybody else, we need to go this way. Do 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 you have anything to tell me about mid? And how may I assist you today? You do. We met under curious circumstances. I think it is fair to say. It was during my time at the university. I had returned to my lecture hall to collect some notes and discovered mid crouched under the lectern. Sketching some designs or other by candlelight. It transpired that she had fashioned a key and had been using my classroom as her own sacred study. A place of quiet refuge from overzealous tutors and, and the like. Naturally. I insisted she leave. But mid being mid, she refused to take no for an answer. And before I knew it, I had not only allowed her to continue her late night studies, but had agreed to take her on as a pupil into the bargain. Though I soon wished I hadn't. Her refusal to defer to authority was no less evident in my lectures. Was this my reward for years of painstaking study, I wondered? To be teased and tormented by some oil-stained stripling who seemed to delight in my discomfort? Still. Our time together is not entirely disagreeable. Not least because it was she who unearthed the plot against my life. 
and encouraged you to come and whisk me away to safety. And so I came to take refuge in your base of operations, just as she once did in mine. Okay, that's good backstory. That's good backstory. I like that. Then I bid you good day. Uh, how about you, Nectar? Do you have any mid lore for me? You do not. I assume nobody else does either, so we will move on. Up uh, here? Yeah. Well, nope. Over here. And down there. Excellent. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Howdy. Enough to keep. How do, Master Sid? Bard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Ah, of course, of well, course. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. Hmm. That could be a bit of an issue. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? Whom's? You know, the one over at Martha's Ah, Bernard. Rest. Yeah, Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. Nah, so you can hear the gears turning. Thank you, Bardolph. Yeah, thanks, Bertolf. At least I could do. Okay, on to the rest with us. Um, psh, psh, psh. It's a new thing there, but... Does he? Does he actually? Well, we'll be coming back. We'll, we'll check it. We'll check it when we come back. Um, He might, or he might not. Who knows? And so onwards to Martha's rest. Go get old Bernard. Give us a bit of a hand. Still don't know about Torgal yet, though. Still not too sure. I like I, I was really curious, and I still am, but I guess I gotta wait a little bit for that explanation. Howdy. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? I need Bernard. Ah, uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. All right, onwards. So that is all the way over there, eh? Hmm. All right. I'm curious. I'm intrigued. All right, now question. Do I take the chocobo or not? Because I could just kill things. Um, I guess depends how fast I want. Eh, I mean, they're all of them like 19. Mm, see how much XP I get. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. See what I mean? You don't really need... Ah, I'm 24. See, you don't really need, like, a good AoE, you know? You just need that. You can make that your AoE. Practically is. Come on. I think I need to go this way. Let's see, this way. Yeah, a bit more this way. And then we should be solid. I guess I could fight to get my my primal gauge up. 
and my prime gauge up, but eh. Do it later. We'll be fighting lots of NPCs. Like up there, probably. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Yes, yes. Oh, do you know? Now, what do you want, Bernard? Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. Yeah, that was really easy. Way easier than I thought it'd be. I, uh, I oh, no, not nah, here we go. Favor, though, here I? we go. Before we go, what do you want? Of course, they always want something. Ah, uh. well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though, except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across, only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any bogles. chance you could? Uh, I haven't heard of a bogle before. Do. Well, thank you kindly, and take care. So just kill everything, huh? This should take long. Nah, it should be pretty easy, actually. Um, this thing. I don't wanna. Okay, I kind of, kind of messed that up. Oh yeah. Now we just kill, just murder. New enemies. Yeah, I figured. Still should be easy enough. Get him up. Hmm. That didn't hit quite as hard as I thought it would. Maybe I didn't use it quite correctly. I feel like there's a method. Maybe a wyvern. All right, bring it on, bud. Okay, so that is cool. That is really cool. Ah, here we go. Get him up. Okay, I was gonna say I should get him down. Oh, I guess I don't have the grab anymore though. Hmm, okay, that is gonna hurt a little bit. So I did use that quite a lot. Yeah, it should knock him down, yeah. Alright, not bad, not bad. So not great. It's not as fast as I would normally go for. You prime up just for fun. Oh, we have a stagger, like, basically done already. Wow. And from a stagger into another stagger. Jesus. Wow, talk about... Talk about absolutely slamming them. Jesus. Getting really good money, too. I need, I need to spend it. I just need to spend my, my gill on something. 
I need to stop porting it. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Now it's really easy, Burner. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Yeah, truly a struggle. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh man, why is my... Oh, it may as well why am I feeling so stiff today? Looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Nah, I can't even imagine. Don't you take care of Mid's little list? Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Losing all your friends, your family, leaving your village just because, you know, times get tough. Couldn't imagine it. It'd be pretty crazy. And, like, if it's been a decade, then, like... Yeah, no, this place got taken over by by nature pretty quickly. But I think that's accurate to real life, funnily enough. I'm pretty sure that is. Let's see, is there anything over this way? Probably will be later if there isn't now. Have I been down here? I don't know if I have been. But I would have explored all over the place though, so maybe I was. Nah, but that chest wasn't opened though, so... Maybe not. I did go up to the Broken Hilt, but maybe I did come down here. I don't know. Maybe I just missed it. It's possible, I know. I know, rarity. A rarity for me, but I may have missed this chest, or that chest on my initial run through of this place, all right? I know. Perish the thought. Hmm. I don't remember going into a building, though. Did I not come here? No, nah, maybe I didn't, like, because if I would have missed two chests, then, geez, that is very much not like me. I don't know. It could have been blocked off, I guess. I mean, like, that's possible. Huh. I mean, that is possible. It's probably the most plausible of the thing. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Not bad, though. Can't call the chocobo here, either. I guess I can just leave. I guess I can just, like, teleport my way back to the hideaway. Yeah, I go back to the hideaway. So the workshop. So is that going to be another new mechanic, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I, um, because Megan is still in the middle of playing this game herself, right? She actually hasn't really had um, much opportunity or any, like, because she gets busy with other stuff. So even though she's, like, still really excited to play the game she hasn't really had the time or as much interest as like yeah you know, she did before she had to take the time off to heal her wrist um but she did ask me like a couple days ago she's like say almost done with the game i'm like you know what i honestly don't really think i'm i'm not too sure because uh, it still keeps throwing stuff at me it's cool like it's neat i like it i am I've placed your various orders and a carpenter by the name of Bernard. He's on his way from Martha's rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. 
quest complete. Wind up. This is wind up cooldown time. Ooh, that could be good. Wind up. Wait, is that what I don't have yet? Uh, blah, 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 not my crystal. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know if I have wind up yet. Uh, well, I probably do. That's my good date for the day. New quest. Then. All right. Let's see how Jill's feeling. Oh, two new quests, dude. Let's go. Could that mean a new potential hunt board as well? Hmm. Okay, we'll go to the infirmary soon. For the moment, I'm just gonna no to the infirmary. Yeah. What's everyone whispering? But I will yes to all of these side quests. So what's your deal? What, what do you want, Doris? Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near Northreach. I find missing people. That's like my specialty. Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled to market. They were moving in for their assault when the mm. carriage was attacked by goblins. Goblins the are pretty easy. managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... This was days ago. Ah. They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from any of them. I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But I'm sure they're fine. But what if I've got them all killed? Nah, I doubt it. Well, maybe though, you never Before know. I go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and what we're freeing people from. But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What risks they might take because of the things I've said. Yeah, I'll go find them. I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. I mean, he's probably on the road, then. On. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. That's also true. I do have Torgal. Alright, prioritize you. I mean, is there... I, I didn't check. Is there anything new on the hunt board? I don't think there would be, but... I like the hunt board. Okay, I like it. It's neat. It's cool. It's fun. It doesn't have a thingy, though, so I'm guessing no. Nah. Uh, okay, it's in the infirmary, so I need to go into the infirmary. Okay, well, we can do that. If, if it's for a side quest, I mean, I'll do it. Ah, Clive. Tis me, oh, yeah. Fife. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Let's hope it's good news. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgal. Maybe we'll know. He must have found something. Maybe we'll be able to find out now. I want to know. I want to know Torgal's deal. I wonder if he's like... A, a, a dominant or something. The look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, Rodrigue. Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand, but it's my first time, and I that would be pretty nerve wracking. I don't think I can do it. I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Well, you survived, I know, but there are as many die as recover. Is it really worth the risk? You don't need me to answer that. Hmm. You know full well what we're fighting for. Many die, huh? I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until that day, a brand is a burden. And we must lift that burden in order to go undetected. How does it almost kill the operation them? may be dangerous. But maybe it's, it's aether essential. infused in the brand, maybe? And we undergo it willingly. Oh, no. I still wish there was some other way. Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. Don't worry. I'll do what must be done. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that needs doing is the preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. Is that how you spell ammonia? Few leaves. Ammonia. 
barely be enough for a movie. Is that one way to spell it? Maybe it's one way to spell it. Brand. Just tell me what you need. You you'll go. Always. It's for a side oh, quest. Always gonna go. You. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough to find if you know where to look. And fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search well, for I, white blue blossoms. I mean, I have been to Amber. Decent place. Prioritize you. Oops. Give me my out of there. All right, all right. So we need to go to Amber. And we need to search the Dragon Area for Cold Party. Uh, besides that, I, I guess we'll go and check out the Blacksmith too. We'll check out Blackthorn. And just see what he might have. It does say he has a new thing. But I'm not entirely sure what that could be. Oh, excuse me for yawning. I had another another one of those kind of sleeps last night. It wasn't bad, but... It also wasn't a full sleep. The grindstone. Ooh. And when he looked at his fists, beneath them was found not but dust. I mean, it's only an extra five, but an extra five is still an extra five. It'll last you a good while. Wait a minute. No. Nah. No. 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 And. Ooh, looking sick. Oh, that's a cool looking sword. It may be a bit impractical, but pretty decent. It's all right. Uh, all right. So we don't have any side quests anywhere else. This is the Dragon Airy. Uh, we'll do this one first. Because this one should be relatively quick and easy. The other one should be too, but... We did accept this one first, and they've been missing for like a couple days. It kind of makes sense, yeah. Keep them nice and chill. Look at this place. <sighs> there we go. Onwards, Ambrosia. See, I told you, along the road, right? It's always going to be along the road. So around here somewhere, then. Well, I do see what looks to be a thingy over here. That's probably important. And it's still along a road, so... Wait a minute. Is it not? Oh, no, this is where the other dude crashed. Oh, so they're keeping that there. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, right here. Okay, never mind. I see you guys. Howdy. He deserve a rest. I talk to you. No, okay, no, I, I got to uh, How come none of them acknowledged me? What Get the? Get me back on my feet. Oh. Tear those bastards heads off. Cole. Howdy, Cole. I'm glad you're in one piece. Just about. Sid, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here? Doris sent me to find you. Oops. She hasn't heard Terrible anything that. since the attack. She's been worried about you. I sent a runner to the dame in Northreach. The hideaway should have learned of our survival yesterday. Well, I'm here now. And it looks like you freed the bearers. Only some. The rest locked themselves in the slaver's carriage rather than fleeing when they had the chance. Mm. I want to help them, Sid. But we're barely in any state to protect those few we did save. You made the right decision. Now where's the carriage? Is it down there? Is it where I found it? It may still be out there. You have duties to attend to here. See to the injured. I'll handle the rest. Cold, they're goblins. All right. Just follow the path to the south. You'll come across the carriage soon enough. And please, hurry. If the beastmen get to those bearers, the poor souls will be eaten alive. I won't let that happen. Thank you. And Sid, it's good to see you. Don't thank me just yet. 
Okay, that's the carriage. Okay, so it's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I like who's like, oh, there are goblins. It's like, man, I've literally taken down dominance. I fought Garuda without having mine. Like, come on. 